Even when we know that the snake is behind glass and therefore harmless, we can feel real fear. When faced with danger, something in the mind signals a reflex action. Using sophisticated scanners, researchers are now able to measure activity in the brain of a frightened man. Just the sight of these scared faces is enough to incite fear. Deep inside the brain, a small almond-shaped segment is activated, the amygdala. We can see fear strike in the brain. The amygdala reacts directly to the senses and instantly triggers the body's familiar fear response. It's a panic button. Thinking takes too long. Panic produces instant reaction. sleep, night sweats, irritable, depressed, uh, reclusive, panic attacks that would last upwards of five or six days, very hypervigilant, noises, light, sounds, um, significant depression. I was ready to commit suicide. And I don't have any nightmares, which is nice, which means I can sleep. I actually believe he saved my life. That training that it's a very low risk procedure. I'm a recipient of the procedure and I am so grateful that I had it done. Because if I hadn't had it done, I was at the end of my rope. I was ready to commit suicide. The procedure is so simple, and the results is so great. 45 minutes after I'd had the procedure, they could, my wife and my best friend was with me, and they could see the tension release in my face. We was in a restaurant, just simple things. Bus boy dropped a tray of dishes. Normally I would have been in the floor or out the door. My wife looked at me and she says, you didn't even flinch. And I go, for what? And uh, I've got to where, believe it or not, a veteran that can walk in and put their back towards the door. Oh, found was uh, in 2007, uh, stepped on an IED in Iraq. May 18th of last year, I was sexually assaulted by another active duty uh, military member. I, I had a uh, IED go off under my helicopter when I was um, a little less than 100 feet off the ground. Uh, I mean, a, a every day flying helicopters over Baghdad was getting shot at. Um. 2003, I've done seven combat uh, deployments. Uh, the first firefighter got into my gunner, uh, he got shot in the chest and uh, you know just being a, the squad leader and seeing your guy drop down inside the gun I could just it's a complete feeling of helplessness. And while we were there there was a suicide bomber that blew up pretty much in front of the convoy and killed a bunch of kids. Uh, that was pretty pretty gruesome. Tell me about your, your limitations from your PTSD symptoms. I like, for example, I hated being in, in crowds of people, just being around people in general. Um, and I, eventually it got to the point where I would make excuses why I didn't even want to go to the grocery store or, uh, you know, just be at, even, even at, but out of nowhere I would go from like a 3 to a 10 and just explode and start shouting and, you know, throwing stuff and, you know, really upset. Uh, uh, what, what treatments did you try before we did the stellate ganglion block? Um, I, I've, so many things. Uh, initially, when I was in the hospital, um, I did a PTSD support group, uh, medications, uh, Zoloft, uh, Wellbutrin. I never really followed through with a lot of the treatments, uh, mostly, you know, because I was continuing to deploy or 
I just felt like I wasn't getting anything out of it, so I was just uh, uh, numb it out. I had every symptom possible as far as hand, um, having PTSD in the sense that I had a very difficult time sleeping. I had very bad nightmares. Um, uh, so my nightmares were extreme detachment um, from your family members, the inability uh, to connect, um, avoiding you know crowds or or groups, and even if those groups were friends and you'd already tried a lot of things, gotten some relief, but you were still at a at a very high level. Um, yes. So describe your experiences actually having the silicon block. It wasn't painful. It wasn't scary or anything like that, <clears throat> like I thought it would be. It was um, very easy. The one thing, I asked you the question of how I would feel or when would I start to make, feel the difference, and you said, well, I'll let you tell me that after I, get, after I give you the block. I didn't understand what you meant at that time. I kind of thought, okay, he's just saying, you know, but within 30 minutes of having the block, I completely felt like myself, more like myself than I had in a long time. It really bothered me. Um, I mean, I've been poked and prodded by doctors and surgeons so much uh, that it, it wasn't that big of a deal. How did you feel uh, immediately after the block and in the following weeks? <laughs> the, the immediate feeling <laughs> was, I didn't expect it at all. I felt like really happy. I felt very euphoric, very, very relaxed. And I literally felt like a million bucks. I did have. You know, I came in here for the procedure. And you know when it was done, I went home, and you know my wife noticed an immediate difference in my stress level and my behavior, and, and just me, like a John Zarian, John Zarian again. So in this last month, you haven't had any of those nightmares? No, none, none of the one. Um, I felt anxiety just kind of um, peel away, and then I just had this profound quiet in my. If I had lived or died, it just didn't matter. <laughs> Um, I, I'm not trying to sound morbid, but and it's not that comfortable for me to talk about, but um, I would say that that was pretty extreme looking back in terms of, 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 way, of way of thinking. Um, How were things before the block? Oh, hard. Um, Hi. Very hard. It's a large um, It was, you never really knew when there was going to be like an explosive anger fight, um, and you never, I never knew how far it would go, um, breaking things, um, sorry, um, some physical aspects of it, um, I didn't think prior to this that our marriage was going to work out. Almost two and a half months since uh, Luke had the steli ganglion block, mm -hmm. and what changes have you noticed, Stacey? The last three months have been probably the best three months of our marriage now. Um, Luke wakes up happy. He's able to joke around now. Um, there is so much less anger in our home. Um, there's no more like rage fights that are happening and we kind of call it quits. Everyone, like the greatest part is, ugh, it's going to make me cry. I get to fall back in love with my husband for a second time. Like, not, I feel so blessed because it got to happen not only once. And <laughs> but.